Lawmakers are working on how to reverse the country's flagging image in Muslim nations. President Obama's election brought a welcome surge in popularity, but that reputation's on the slide as the unwelcome wars in Iraq and Afghanistan continue. RT's Lauren Lister has more. A message from the U.S. Delivered to Afghanistan in this form. Four 2,000 pounders from B-52 bomber. 8,000 pounds hitting the internet too, getting more than its weight in views. That's what I'm talking about. That's eliminating the enemy. How does it look to the world? Survey says. In 2009, we began to see signs of the revival of the image of the United States, reflecting confidence in its new president, uh, Barack Obama. But it turns out confidence is not on the radar. We got Obama. Where targets for U.S. rockets are. As positive as uh, the numbers were in much of the world, uh, there was little indication of a better opinion of the image of the United States in the Muslim world, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Opinions in the Middle East remained largely unfavorable. Yeah, shake it back, did that not blow your mind? And strong animosity toward the U.S. continued to run deep and unabated in Turkey and Pakistan, the Palestinian two territories. That just happened. It's a bad rep that stretches beyond the latest blasts in two wars. They know that, for example, Palestinians in Gaza, the bombs that fell on Gaza uh, last year were manufactured in the United States. There's no hiding that. Uh, and, and children as young as, you know, uh, preschool age kids know where the F-16s are coming from. In regard to the Arab and Muslim world, people view the United States through the prism of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Few Muslims that we polled last year believed that Obama would be fair-minded with regard to this relationship. So while U.S. lawmakers are asking this... Why do you believe that these public opinion numbers have gone up so uh, dramatically? Uh, do you think they can be uh, sustained? They may want to focus on what that support hinges on, even in countries where the U.S. is popular. There was support nearly everywhere for closing Guantanamo, withdrawing troops from Iraq, but opposition everywhere to sending more troops to Afghanistan. None of which are mission accomplished. There may be some people who initially were very excited about uh, Obama just being elected. Uh, because he was not Bush, um, are probably going to see that there is not that much of a difference between American foreign policy today and American foreign policy several years ago. While U.S. lawmakers and academics hold meetings in Washington to talk about why the U.S. reputation abroad is so important, they seem to be a world away from the drone attacks and the wars and the battlefields that may really be forming it. And looking at where the U.S. is headed, the question is which images are making a bigger impression around the globe now. All right, time to pack up and f these guys up some more. Lauren Lister, RT.